and I appreciate whenever I'm more firmer with someone and they come back I really appreciate it I know they're really serious and sometimes I have to really block people for a period until their behavior changes um, but then when their behavior changes and when I really see their behaviors changed then I'm happy to open up to them again but I'm not going to keep going round and round with someone so sometimes I block people I bar people I tell people no and to go away and then when I feel like it's changed again then I'm happy to open up to that and I really really appreciate it when somebody comes back after that because then you really know someone's serious you know if they're only just coming back when I'm being nice then then they and, and as soon as there's a bit of not niceness then they're really not hearing the subject because everything is your teacher everything everything whether I'm nice or not nice everything is the teacher the whole of life everything that happens to you and that's what I'm trying to show you like the everything is the teacher there isn't a guru everything is so if it's pain when you go and see the post office because there's a big queue or if it's because I'm rude to you or I don't give you attention or I dismiss you or because your lamp is broken, everything is screaming home, home, home. And when you're rejecting that and you're identifying and you're rejecting life, life is doing all these things to show you that rejection, show you it's not true every pain everything shows you it's not true it's not true it's not true it's not true here is home no matter what is happening this is home and that really takes maturity i think to see and i think that's why me and my teacher had such a profound time together because it wasn't like he was just my teacher it was everything but i was totally ready to see everything that he did as a teaching and it wasn't easy it wasn't like a walk in the roses or a walk in the sunflowers. It was not easy to have someone point out your issues or to behave in certain ways which you find really difficult. Like, and it wasn't like he would do things like, you know, he would act out passive aggressive behaviors and I constantly saw it as teaching or he would act out very controlling behaviors and I constantly was ready to see it as teachings even though I could sometimes get quite reactive. I was so ready to see that everything was my teacher. And he was so great at saying, it's not true, it's not true, it's not true. But you know, a lot of people can't take that. They run away at the slightest thing. Oh, she's acting passively aggressively, or she said this thing one day and this thing one day, and she behaves like that. You know, I hear people like, um, like, slag off other teachers because they behaved like this or they did this or they slept with a student or they did that or did that and it's got nothing to do with it them sleeping with a student is irrelevant to you what's relevant to you is how that makes you feel whether they're right or wrong at this stage is absolutely irrelevant yeah we can say maybe that's not appropriate behavior or that's in time but that's irrelevant to you to you you have to see how does that make me feel that makes me feel afraid that makes me feel vulnerable that's the important part and seeing that it's not true your projections onto them isn't true you feel afraid so therefore you project this whole big story onto them you feel rejected and you reject all this big story and that's it there's rejection that comes up there is fear that comes up and it's not true and then it's gone well, you're identified, you believe it's true, and then you spend five weeks hating them because they slept with your best friend or they gave attention to someone else. Somebody asked who was my teacher. Everything was my teacher. Everything was my teacher. There was one particular person that I spent three years with and I call my teacher out of simplicity. Ultimately, I don't see there as any teacher, but I call him that because we just had the most amazing, beautiful experience together. And I'm sure that I taught him things as well. But on the non-duality path, um, he was more evolved with me than me at that time. And so he, um, 
kept expressing the non-duality and that it's not true to me. And every time I went off in a story land, he could say it's not true. And it was really, really beautiful. And I'm sure there were things that I taught him. I think I made him a way better teacher. I think that I taught him about the emotional body. But everything is your teacher. Everything. The wind, the sunlight, the feeling of your feet on the floor. But me and... But it's almost like when the student's ready, the teacher appears. And when the student's ready, the teacher disappears. It's not so much about your teacher. It's about you just constantly opening up to seeing that everything is showing you the way home. You're not some vulnerable person that's been kicked out in life. It's like the open invitation. Life is constantly saying, this is it, this is it. It's just your mind is covered with fog that feels like it's been rejected and abandoned. But when you open your eyes, you see that the coffee you taste is it. The, the, the person that's screaming at you is it. And if you feel like you're rejecting that person, then you just look inside. It doesn't mean that you just become passive. It doesn't mean that if someone's screaming at you, don't say, no, don't treat me like that. A lot of people make that mistake. Or if your person, your partner is sleeping with someone else and they're saying to you, but it's a teaching, go deeper. But your energy is saying, no, you're allowed to say no. It's, it's just also seeing that that pain that it creates as a teacher, but it's not putting yourself in abusive situations. That's a big mistake that a lot of people make. I'm not saying walk into the fire just to see that, <laughs> that you're free. And just saying everything is screaming home. And really there is no teacher and there is no student. So don't even get caught on that. It's beautiful. Everything and life's like life gave me everything I needed, everything I needed to see that it wasn't true. And it's there for everyone. It's just that my mind suddenly became ready to see everything like that. And so the teacher presented itself, but that teacher equally could have been a rock, equally could have been a prison sentence, equally could have been a sunflower, because my mind was ready. It's not even mine, but this mind was ready. And so therefore it looked at everything and said, teacher. And then Roger came. But then so did everything else. So did the forest that I lived in and the airplanes. I was in the forest in a really beautiful place. And the government redirected airplanes over our house. I can tell you they were a good teacher. I screamed at those airplanes quite a few times. They were low-flying airplanes, propeller airplanes, very noisy. <laughs> okay. I don't know how you how to follow love. I feel like I've been so deeply conditioned, so far away from following love. I don't seem to be able to n tell what I'm passionate about. Thank you for reconditioning me. Aren't you following that love now, Keith, when you listen to this subject? Don't you feel those inklings of love? And don't worry about following love, just be open to it and see when you're following fear, see when you're following neurosis, but be open to that call of love. It's actually your own heart, it's not something separate from you. It's as you stop suffering when you then that becomes more and more obvious of when there's an identified action and a free action. Hey Sue. Hi Lisa. Love your topic, love. <laughs> You're answering questions I've asked myself today. Many blessings. See? When, when the mind is ready, it's, it's there. You see everything as logic and everything as like, I've got to do this to get there. And, but why, why do you see it like that? You could equally see it like life is giving you a gift in every instant. It's like we're set up in our society to think in such identified negative ways. We're set up to suffer. But 
everything you could ever think is a gift. Everything. So it's like, of course, you're going to get the answer to all your questions today. Of course. Why wouldn't you? A question is asked, an answer comes. If your mind is closed, then it won't see the answer. If the mind is open, then it will see the answer. It will see the answer in the bird flying in the sky, in the sound of music, or in me speaking. Do you get that? It's beautiful. You can have a look at my beautiful Kalisti. I is a puppy! She's so tired after her bone. Kalisti! Yucky ticky ticky. <laughs> oh, she's so lovely.